All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. And today we're going to continue on. Uh, after the last video, I talked about the index of method, and we went a little deeper into it. And today I'm going to talk about another method that I've used in the past, and it's pretty helpful. It's called the split method. It's a string method in .NET. We're going to show an example in a C# -sharp console application. So stay tuned. If you like this kind of stuff, hit subscribe. Really would appreciate it. And uh, I'll have a link down below if anyone is interested in a standing desk. I have the one linked below that I personally use. I have in my office if anyone is interested. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd plug it and try to make a little income on this channel since I'm not yet. So yeah, uh, shameless plug. And tonight I'm drinking some honey whiskey. So let me know if you're drinking anything right now. Even if it's water, let me know what you got Uh I feel like I want to make this a, a thing on this channel is talking about drinks. <laughs> so let's talk about the split. I just continued from our last video. I just took this application, I changed it a bit, and now we have a string words that we used in the last one, but it's changed a little bit. You can see it's a bunch of numbers, but they have commas after each number. They're delimited by commas. And let's say we just wanted to extract the numbers from this. How would we go about doing that? And some, uh, like a use case you can think is if you have a CSV file, you extract part of the CSV file, it's comma separated values. So how would you extract the values from that part of the CSV file? Well, you can use something called the split method. Basically use that character to split the string up and then extract the rest into an array. So in our case, if we passed in a comma, it would extract everything before and after the comma. And uh, let's just show you that in practice. So let's just do a console dot right line. And I'm just going to do words dot split. And then it takes a parameter and we can give it what do we want to split by in our case, like I said, it's going to be a comma. And let's just run that. And we're not actually getting a string back, right? You might be expecting a string of just the one, two, three, four, and five. Well, actually, it's saying you're returning this object, which is a string array. So what we want to do is we actually want to loop through this array and show every single value in it. So we can do a for each and say for each var, I'm just going to say a in words dot split. Okay, and we can actually get rid of this line now. So I'm just going to cut it. And here we can do a console uh, dot right line and print out a. So what this is going to do, like I said, it's going to return a string array and we're going to loop through it and display every part of that new string array. So let's start this and show that off. So now we have one, two, three, four, and five because we use that split, turn it into array, and then we're looping through the array showing each value in that array. Makes sense. So of course, this doesn't have to just be numbers, it can be any string. So if we have a sentence or a few sentences, maybe we just want to extract all of the words from the sentences. And we don't want the spaces, we don't want the periods, maybe there's other punctuation in there. But for our case, let's make it simple and just say there are only spaces, and there are only periods in the sentence. So I'm going to make a sentence saying this is really fun. Uh, maybe I'd put an exclamation point, but in our case, like I said, I'm just going to use periods because it is really fun, right? I am learning to code, period. So now we have two delimiting characters that we want to use when splitting this. We have spaces and then we have periods. So how do we combine that? How do we use more than one? There's actually an overload for split where you can pass in a character array. And so let's just do that and let's call these delimiters. Is that the right word? I think so. And that's going to equal a new character array with these two characters. We have the space and we have the period, right? Don't want that semicolon there. I want it there. So now we can pass in this character array as delimiters. And let's go ahead and run this and you might be surprised what actually happens. And I'm just going to say right now, what actually is going to happen is we're going to get all the words, um, but there's going to be a couple empty values in this array, the string array that it creates where this period was. I'm trying to wrap my head around why that is. 
logically, it doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it'll make sense to you. Um, but we can go ahead and see a solution here in a second. So we go, we say, this is really fun. This is where the period should be. Uh, but, but remember, we split also by the period as well as the space. And I am learning to code. And you can see that there's this empty where my cursor is. It's actually one line down. There's an empty value right here from the array. And there's also an empty value right here. So how do we get rid of those? Well, we can use another overload. There's actually a lot of overloads for the split method. And we can pass in a string split option value. So string split options, period, remove empty entries. So that's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to remove those empty entries that when we took away the period, uh, we saw. So let's run it now. And here you can see that those empty spaces that we saw before are no longer there. And now we're able to extract every single word in these sentences. And, you know, maybe I did have uh, an exclamation point. How would I deal with that? So let's stop this and say, um, cool, exclamation point. And let's run this again. And you can see, oh, the exclamation point actually made it. We don't want that. We just want the word cool. Well, we can just continue to add as long as we know what's in this string that we're getting. We can continue to add different delimiters. And we'll run it again. And you can see that the exclamation point is no longer here because we added to the character array the exclamation point. So hopefully you can see maybe a possible use case and where this is useful. I know I've used it in the past, and hopefully this helps you out in the future. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.